the self, others, sexuality, and the desire for companionship and intimacy. The artist conveys these complex ideas through sculpture, some colorful and life-sized, and others molded out of steel. The exhibition will be held at Lisa Moore and Associates on 155 Young Smuts Road in Rosebank. It started on the 5th of July, which was yesterday, and will end on the 2nd of August. Today, we're joined in studio by Uwe Faf, the uh, artist behind this amazing exhibition. So good morning, welcome to Morning Health. Good morning. I am alone. What is the significance of that title? It's a play of words. Um, we're all alone, somewhere, somehow, someplace. And um, it signifies um, that and the alienation that we are in. You know, uh, animal or man or fish, all of them. What is the exhibition about? Um, what does it consist of? Um, it's a show um, of sculptures, different sizes, different medias, multimedias. Um, some of them are life sizes um, in painted or, um, or powder coated and others are rust, rust images um, with paint and uh, smaller ones. Uh, what space were you in when you came up with these works? <laughs> <laughs> Very good space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's basically the, the result of many, many, many years, you mm -hmm. know, of kind of be, being preoccupied with, with certain subjects and objects and certain notions of, about life and the beginning and the end of, of everything. What are you trying to say um, with this exhibition? What do you want your audience to take away from it? I think... What I would like them to come in and to, to be totally bowled over by new imagery that kind of um, amuses them, um, makes them look at uh, fish in a different way mm -hmm. than they looked before, um, and to connect with, the, with their own inner fish. What has been the, the best part of embarking on this journey of artistry? Um, every day bring something else in terms of the the imagery and s something new you know um, the creative process um, for me it's not a repetition or an exploration of the same subject so it's going down three four different roads at the same time and then arriving at a reasonably satisfying solution uh, that hopefully amuses people uh, it, it makes them happy and why is, in your opinion, is Lism when associates the best place to display your work? I don't know if you remember the old gallery yes, yes, and now yes, they yes, moved yes, to the yes, new yes, one. No. I mean, this new one, what does it mean to you as an artist and what does it say about your work? And do you see your work in a different light now? Of course, yeah. I've been working with, with Risa for many years and um, she offered me this space and uh, it's always very interesting and, and exciting to be given a certain space in time as well. Um, to um, populate with one's work. Mm. And uh, it's a wonderful outside area um, that, talking about light, you know, um, it's wonderful because there's a long wall and as the sun comes up, you know, the shadow of the building, it drops down and my fish objects, you know, that are floating in the sea seem to be floating in the water there, you know, which, which is a bonus, yeah. you know. So it's always a challenge um, to, to deal with a new space. Mm. Talk to us about this. I mean, the exhibition seeks to explore notions of self, sexuality, you know, intimacy. What are these? What are you trying to say? Um. <laughs> 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 Is it hard to put in words? Yeah, no, no, yeah, that's that's why I'm drawing it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but th th there's a story behind um, both of these objects, you yeah. know, and that have to do with awakening uh, also sexually, you know. And the story starts off with me b uh, being a boy swimming in, in a lake in Germany um, and um, hanging on to a log in the water, resting and feeling um, something nibbling at, a, at my back. And it was a very pleasant sensation, yeah. and I gave myself to it, you know. And, and then I swam on again, then it, I felt it again. And then I turned around and I saw this big fish that was nibbling on me, yeah. you know. And I thought, that's very interesting, you know, because it's all about perception. Because I think that this fish, I was an even bigger fish. Yeah. And a very hot fish, because my body was hot and his body is cold, you know. So this kind of imagery, it's... Um, it haunted me, you know. Mm. And then I came across uh, a, a quotation by an, an Indian sage, you know, that was asked about man and evolution and so on. And it said, look, 
we all come from fish, you know, and then we went onto water and became human beings and we yeah. are on top of the evolution. Now, but we fool ourselves by thinking we left the water because yeah. um, the water has not left us. Right. Because we are consisting of water and when we cry, it's, it's salt water yeah. and when we sweat, it's also it's salt water. So I just connected these, these two. Yeah. All um, right, Uwe, thank you so much for talking to oh, us. Thank you. Uwe Pfaff is uh, uh, an artist talking to us about his exhibition titled I Am Alone, which opened at Lisa Moen Associates Gallery in Rosebank yesterday. It's on until the 2nd of August 2014. Let's take a